or just so many sort of uh, side project or ideas that he would explore, like um, funk band, sort of similar to rock band, the video game where he was going to license his music to be able to play it on the instruments. And of course, that didn't ever come together. But but that kind of thing or the eventual deal that he did with Tidal for putting a, a, a pretty large number of his albums from his catalog on their service, these were all things that he had a lot more flexibility to do because he had fought for that ownership. Yeah, I think you're right in that he had so many brilliant ideas. I used to always try to convince him to hire professionals to execute on each one of them. And often he would not want to do that. But he I think he had every brilliant idea I've seen executed in Silicon Valley years before. And I remember thinking we were smart. Like, I think all these things you think, let's try selling it direct. And he's like, NPG Music Club. And I was like, what's that? And he was like, I did that 20 years ago. We did, yeah. you know, then he walked he me through. for 20 years ago, yeah. Right, he's yeah. like.